What's up, guys? This is Joshua Harmon Sr. Uh, back with another uh, day in the life of a real estate agent video. And uh, today is July 5th, day after Independence Day. Um, I didn't realize that people took the entire weekend for Independence Day, um, but I'm gonna get in and get some work. Um, I've already, it's about 9.30 right now. At 8 a.m., I did a um, interview with Matt Merrill, um, who is the owner and founder of 2M Investments and uh, a umbrella for various different companies. And that went very well. I'm gonna drop a clip of that right here. What's up everybody? This is Joshua Harmon Sr. Um, and the new show we're doing today is Ask a Pro 479, where we will interview local businesses that offer services to homeowners and also real estate investors. And we got a special guest today, uh, Matt Merrill with 2M Investments. How you doing today? Good, Josh. How are you? Thanks for having me. Awesome, awesome. Well, tell you a little bit about Matt. Um, I don't know. I may, probably met you about a year ago. Mm -hmm. Just through passing, and I'm calling him about an apartment complex. He's like, yeah, I don't own that, but let's have lunch. And uh, we had lunch. He paid for, my, paid for my lunch, which I really appreciate, man. And he told me a little bit about uh, the beginning of 2M. You know, he wanted to go out and buy properties, and buy the shirts properties, fix them up put them back on the market, and now that's turned into several other ancillary businesses that are doing extremely well. So we want to chat with Matt today about uh, 2M Investments. He's going to educate you guys on the services he provides and how he can improve your property, improve your situation. So uh, Matt, tell us a little bit about your background and how So that to series is going to be called Ask a Pro 479, where we would do uh, interviews every single Monday. We're going to drop those at 4 p.m., every monday on facebook and um, instagram and youtube so whatever channel is best for you guys we may also start a podcast at some point so it doesn't drain as much of your battery uh, when you listen to those podcasts you just download it and listen to it so it's not draining your battery like a video um <clears throat> but yeah we just want to on ask a pro 479 i want to interview local service professionals who provide services to homeowners and real estate investors or just property owners in general um, in Arkansas and Oklahoma and um, yeah the, the, these companies what you'll find is a lot of one common theme that they have um, they just want to provide value to you guys so I think it's just my duty to give them a platform to talk about their business and how they can benefit you guys um, so um, yeah day in the life of a real estate agent I don't know what episode this is I completely forgot I lost track um, but I haven't picked up any listings this week. I'm, I, my goal was to have six listings this week, um, and I haven't picked up one. So zero listings, zero new listings this week, um, which I'm, I'm not happy about. So I'm going to hit the phones really hard and prospect and try to get uh, convert some of those leads that I have in my CRM, and also um, just push my current listings. You know, that's that's my goal every day to pick up new business, but also serve my existing business. So, I mean, I I don't know. I have four. I don't four million, four and a half million of active listings on the market right now, and I owe I owe my clients the you know the respect and you know they they the only way I get paid is by close these deals. So I got some deals on the contract that I need to continue to work on and make sure this due diligence gets gets knocked out. But also the the active listings I have right now, I owe it to them to reach out to everybody I know and give them the best chance to get their property sold. So I'm going to do that today but also try to form some new relationships and get new business as well. So yeah, busy day. I didn't know July, you know, July 4th last the entire weekend, but you know, if you can see my parking lot here, there's nobody here, which this parking lot is usually super packed. Um, so I'm gonna get in here, I'm a prospect, and also uh, try to push some of my active listings and I will get back with you guys later on. All right, guys, so I'm done prospecting, um, possibly have a, listing appointment tomorrow so super excited about that um so i can at least walk away with one listing but i'm gonna go home and, and cook up some leftovers real quick um i would like to challenge anybody in, in in fort smith or any of the surrounding areas um whoever thinks they can be make better baked mac and cheese than me i promise you you your grandmother your mom your dad nobody can make better mac and cheese than me you, you, you just can't. So I would love to see anybody challenge me in a mac and cheese um, face off anytime, any place, anybody, anybody can get it. So, um, yeah, challenging anybody to see if they can make better mac and cheese than me. I doubt it. I doubt there's anybody out there in, in the state of Arkansas, but let's just say the surrounding areas. I know I make better mac and cheese than everybody around here. Your Velveeta is not going to cut it. Your Easy Mac is not going to cut it. 
So, um, yeah, I, I'm going to throw that challenge out there and see who, who takes me up on that. But I'm going to get some um, some leftovers and some other good news. Um, we're going to be walking through a 24-unit apartment today in Van Buren. Um, it was actually another agent that brought it to me. It's not my listing. Um, he wanted me to take a look at it and see if I had any clients who'd be interested. So I'm going to go do that um, around 1 p.m. today. So today, to be honest with you, I mean, I know everybody else is taking the day off. It's a normal day for me. Um, actually, I may be a little bit more busy today than I've been in a while with the interview this morning, prospecting, um, you know, dropping the kids off, walking through this property and just checking in on my other listings that I have, my active listings. I've got a lot going on today, so I'm going to let you guys follow me around. Let's go home and check out this mac and cheese. Um, I'll see I'll you guys in a minute. Brother, you know, we had a lot of, lot of food. Well, that's good. On the ground, we went, went up and made how we were seeing a bunch of fireworks off now. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm gonna let him walk around, do his thing. Oh, yeah. We're just appraisers. That's all. Hey Derek, do you know if these are one of the renovated units? No. This guy's been here 13 years. <laughs> you know how old I was? 13 in the, uh, the living areas and the bedrooms. That's coming back. Isn't that crazy? Do you own any rentals? No, sir. Well, what you, what you, the, 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 um, kind of the trend for a while was I just want hardwood throughout. Right. right. And now it's coming back to, hey, look, I want some carpet in the, in the, oh, yeah, the I get that on all my. All my residential things that don't work. Let me get out of your way. Here. No, you're fine. I pushed the wrong button. This also looks like it's been painted. Yeah, it looks good. I think. Nice closet sizes. I like those shoes. What's up, y'all? So just finished walking through that 24 unit uh, property in Van Buren. Uh, now downtown Fort Smith off of North Street, 6th Street, looking at a five unit office building. Maybe it's for me at some point or, you know, maybe one of my clients. I don't know. I just think it's a good deal. So I want to take a look at it, evaluate it and see if it may be a good fit for somebody I know or me. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna give you a little tour of this office building and uh, see what you guys think. See what the potential is on this okay, building. This is the little lobby area. I don't know if this may be like a conference room or something like that. I think getting rid of this wall right here will give it a lot more space and kind of even this room out. I do not know what to call this room here, but um, it's just it's a huge space. You could maybe split this up into two offices right here. I don't know if there's a light in here, but yeah, you could probably split this little space up into two offices and uh, get more use out of that that space. Here goes another office here. Then you got, this could be like a kitchen area. You know, take out this wood panel, they make this like a kitchen, throw in a throw in a um, fridge over there, throw over some, some cabinets over there or something like that. Then you got your little bathroom here. So, I mean, if you're thinking about, when you're looking at properties, what I try to do is figure out what the, the future use can be. This could be a one, two, three, four, four times 12. This can potentially be 20 offices um, in, in one building. So um, this could be a huge opportunity, but we're gonna continue to walk through and just see what else we got. So follow me. goes another one this one is shaped a little bit different it looks like they built these to suit their uh the clients that they had so they may all look a little bit different now that i'm looking at it looks like they at one point this used to be one office they shared that um doo -doo 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 -doo. here goes another office in here yeah so all these look a little bit different so it's hard to say really what you can do with these, but it's like amazing here. 
Look at those AC units. Doesn't look too bad. That looks like a brand new one, actually. Looks like we don't have a key to that one. We don't have a key to this one. And let's go to this last unit, see if the key works here. Okay, we can get into this one. So this office is shaped um, kind of like the first one. It's got a big old conference area. It's got the lobby here, kind of a common area here. Um, I don't know what this would be. Well, you could tell some of these offices were joined together because they all have these doors in them that they kind of covered up. There's another office in here. And then the bathroom. Here. A lot of wood paneling. Wood paneling makes me dizzy. I hate it. All right, so overall, um, I think it's a huge opportunity, especially with it being downtown. And if you can see back there, that white building, that apartment complex, I actually sold that last year. Um, and they completely renovated it and getting, you know, premiums and rent. I mean, they're getting over 500 for one bedroom units. So I know people want to be downtown. The reason I'm bringing that up, um, there's a lot of lawyers, a lot of politicians down here. Um, but you also have the Salvation Army down there. So um, it's kind of a mixed review. Some people just can't deal with living or working downtown and, and living downtown because of, you know, kind of the mixed um, demographic. But some people just love it like the vibe is awesome down here um really nice people um to be honest the people over at the homeless shelter they really don't bother anybody they're not um you know i don't ha i've been downtown for a long time whether it's work or living and i don't have any problems with anybody i mean i've never had anybody ask me for money unless i'm you know on garrison i mean you get a few people but overall love the, the vibe downtown and uh yeah I think this office space could be a cool opportunity for somebody. I don't know if it'll be for me because the price will have to be right because it needs to be renovated, but um, yeah. So, yep, that's pretty much um, a wrap for day in the life of a real estate agent for the day. Um, and I'll catch you guys next week, all right? Man, my skin looks all right today too. What y'all think? All right, I'll see y'all later.